But concerning the dead, have you not read in the book of Moses, the burning bush passage, how God spoke to him saying, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Our God is not the God of the dead, but over the living. Mark 12, verses 26 to 27. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Long after these patriots had died, God spoke up and said, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Present tense. You see, ladies and gentlemen, beloved children of the Most High, our God does not preside over the dead, but over the living. How could this be, you might think? How could God presently be with Abraham, yet presently be with Moses? Well, the first thought is that long after these pages had died, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's spirit rested in God's presence. As to many of your loved ones who have died knowing him. But you, yes you, you are not wrong in making this assumption, but I believe that this scripture has more of a mystical meaning. More of a marvelous reality about our great God. And that is what I would like us to consider during our brief time together. And I do mean brief. You see, beloved, unlike his creation, our God is not bound by time. But rather, just like height, width, and depth, a dimension created to serve his purposes. I know it may seem inconceivable not to be bound by time, but that's the reality of our God. The Alpha and Omega. The one who sees the end from the beginning. Our God doesn't just know the past. He's in the past. And our God doesn't just know the future. Beloved, he's in the future. Our God is both past, present, and future. That is why he is the I am. God is able to be present regardless of time. So whilst he was talking with Moses, he was also interacting with his great-grandfather, Abraham, and can adequately introduce himself as the God of Abraham. God is the only being that can have a conversation with people generations apart at the same time. So allow me to put this in simpler terms. Beloved, how God doesn't remember you being born. He is right there, right now, in the labor ward, watching you being born. Just like he's right here, watching you watch this play. And he's also with the future you, having a conversation with you, that you have no idea is going to happen. Huh. Puts a whole new meaning to the scripture, oh Lord, you have searched and known me. So beloved, as you watch the nativity, as you watch this story, do not relegate it to the archives of history, but see it how our God sees it. See it as a story that is presently happening, presently relevant, and presently beautiful. So in this moment, let us become like our God. Let us surf the waves of time and let us observe the genius of our God. And let us all go to a time that you know oh so well.